I have this avocado here that is perfectly ripe, but nothing to eat it with. I don't have any bread. Can't make avocado toast. So I'm thinking I might just salt it and eat it straight out of the avocado shell. Shell? Skin? I don't know. Ooh, everything but the bagel seasoning. That's what I need. Perfect. Hello everyone, I hope you are having an amazing day. We are doing a little vlog today. I've been doing a lot of cosplay on the channel, I've been doing a lot of thrift flips, which basically means I go to a thrift store, try to find clothing items similar to the costume I'm trying to make, and then I make modifications to make it even closer to the cosplay I'm trying to make. Normally, I'll just go to the thrift store one by one as I'm planning cosplays, but today I thought it would be fun to put a list of three or four different characters together, make a whole afternoon of it, hit up three or four, five, six, who knows, a bunch of different thrift stores in the area, and just start compiling materials for different costumes that I'm trying to make. I love avocados, so good. And don't forget, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, cosplay, horror, anime, sci-fi, tons and tons of geeky content, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. I'm going to finish that avocado and then I will start heading out to the thrift stores. Here is the list of characters that we are trying to find today. Spike from Cowboy Bebop, Yuffie from Final Fantasy VII, Misa Amani from Death Note, and I have a bunch of the materials I need for Link from Legend of Zelda, but that character is on here too. There's some accessories I'm looking for, and I also need to find shoes for my Kyrie cosplay and my Tifa cosplay. So we're gonna hit up the thrift stores, see what clothing items we can find. And then I also might hit up Joanne's fabric today. Once we've gone to the thrift stores and I see what I find, that will give me a better idea of if I need to go to Joanne's or not. So that might be on the list. All right, I'm gonna finish this avocado. I'll see you at the first thrift store. So for the first store, that was a great haul. We got the shorts for Yuffie. They're a little bit long, but you could really just cuff them and then they'll be the perfect length. I was looking at a few different shirt options. I ended up going with this sweater for her top. So I'm gonna have to modify some things, but I really liked how prominent the turtleneck was. And I liked this color. There were a few more like olive green shirt options, but I wanted something brighter. These two scarves that I got, the orange and the beige one are also going to be for the Yuffie cosplay which you'll see when I make the video exactly what they're for oh also the shoes that I got I was looking for a pair of orange shoes for Yuffie these aren't exactly orange they are a brown leather but they're an orange ish 
color. They're close enough that I'm happy with them. They fit perfectly and I think they're super cute. So that's for Yuffie. Pretty much got everything I needed for Yuffie. There might be some things I need to get at Joann's. I think I'm gonna need to buy green thread for that shirt. And then the last thing I got at that store was one of the items I'm gonna need for Spike. This is going to be used to make the inner lining of the jacket as well as the cuffs at the bottom of the sleeves. I did see a few options for the navy blue suit that Spike wears, but none of them were really fitting exactly the way that I wanted to. And I think I'll have some luck with that at a different thrift store. Also, there was only one yellow button down, but it was a Tommy Hilfiger button down and it had like the Tommy Hilfiger colors like running down the front. I could seam rip that off, but I just feel like again, getting a yellow button up is gonna be so easy to find somewhere else. So I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, for my first store, this is a great haul. Couldn't really find anything for Misa. Looked at a couple things, but nothing really was speaking to me. So gotta keep looking for Misa. Gotta keep looking for the shoes. Oh my God, I'm so mad. So there was this one pair of red shoes that I could use for Tifa, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And then this other woman had a pair of red boots in her bag that were freaking perfect, but she got them before I did. And I was very upset about that, but it is what it is. We will have luck elsewhere. Time to get to the next thrift store. Okay, not as good of a haul at the second store, but still got some stuff. I found this skirt. It's much too big for me, but that's kind of good. I think that this skirt is supposed to be like a bodycon skirt, but I'm trying to make a pleather a-line dress for Misa. Ideally, I would just have found a pleather dress, but I don't think that that's gonna be terribly easy to find. So this is going to be perfect for that. I'll probably end up removing it from the elastic on the top and then pleating it to make it into an A-line and attaching it to whatever we get for the top, which haven't found anything for the top yet. But I did find this dress and it's got lace sleeves. So these sleeves are gonna be perfect for Misa. So yeah, we found two pieces for Misa. Still looking for that navy blue suit. I can always go back to the first thrift store I went to if I can't find it. That's the closest to me. I'm gonna pass it on the way home anyway. So if we don't find what we're looking for, that's always an option. Also, I did find a pair of shoes I was considering for Kyrie. They were black and purple. Decided against it. Gonna keep looking for those shoes. Didn't find any red shoes. Oh, and I added a character to the list. I was thinking about it in this store, but I couldn't find anything. I have been wanting to update my Fire Nation Katara cosplay. So I need a red something, a red dress, a red jumpsuit, a red shirt, something red I'm looking for. Haven't found anything yet. Gonna keep looking on to the next store. Then I didn't notice that I was in love with you. When they say you're over. I am back home. It is actually the next day. After that last thrift store trip, I went to Trader Joe's and then I came back home. So let me show you what I bought at the last thrift store. I'll show you what I got at Trader Joe's and I'll update you on what the plan is today in regards to the thrifting adventure. Starting with the Trader Joe's haul, if you've never shopped at Trader Joe's before, I will say they have incredible options for frozen meals if you are a lazy chef like me. They also have really great options for vegetarian and vegan food. I'm a vegetarian, though I try to eat vegan. The haul I have here is definitely vegetarian. We've got some cheese stuff, but there are some things I bought that are specifically vegan. This buffalo vegan dip, this vegan pesto sauce, which 
I use on these ravioli options. So this one is butternut squash ravioli. Probably won't use the pesto on there, but we also have this mushroom and truffle ravioli. Maybe that'll taste good there. There's a vegan ravioli that I usually use with the pesto sauce. They didn't have it, but I can't for the life of me remember what the flavor even was. So anyway, I also am obsessed with the gnocchi options at Trader Joe's. Yesterday I ate the cauliflower gnocchi, also got the gorgonzola gnocchi, my personal favorite, the sweet potato gnocchi, and tomato and mozzarella gnocchi. We got some pesto and tomato linguine, mushroom risotto, mushroom ravioli, which this is actually super similar to the non-frozen mushroom ravioli that I got. And two of my all-time favorites, we have the Korean beefless bulgogi, which I'll usually do with uh, veggies and rice. Yeah, most of these things I'm like not eating by itself. I'm like pairing it with other things or mi mixing it with vegetables. And then the last frozen item I got was this dakboki, uh, which is Korean rice cakes. Oh my gosh, fully obsessed with these. I got like three bags of this because I love it so much. And finally, some Trader Joe's chocolate frozen dessert. It's not ice cream. It's a frozen dessert because it is vegan. It's made with coconut milk. They used to have, oh, it was so good. They used to have this vegan ice cream that had boba in it. They had a black tea flavor and a coffee flavor. Absolutely incredible. I don't know why they don't have it anymore, but it's very upsetting. But anyway, actually I want a spoonful of this right now. I already started eating it yesterday, but it's so good. I just want like one spoonful. <sighs> Delicious. Anyway, now I'm gonna put all this back into the freezer in the fridge and I'll bring over the clothes that I got at the last thrift store. So for starters, I bought these orange socks. Two things about these socks. Number one, these are new socks. They're not used. Certain things I will not buy used, underwear and socks and bras. Yeah, not gonna buy that used. These were brand new, so I was fine buying them. I had bought an orange scarf at the first thrift store that I went to. I'm going to return that. This is going to work better for what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a pair of like fingerless gloves. So these already have the shape I'm looking for and then I can just like mess around um, at the bottom here, like cutting the sock part off, making them into fingerless gloves. The other thing I bought was a scarf. So I'd have to start completely from scratch. Yeah, these are gonna just work so much better than the scarf. But these were like $1.99. I think the scarf was maybe $2.99. So if I had to eat that money, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I try to go as cheap as possible. Like for example, at one of the thrift stores, I found a navy blazer that I thought would work really well for the Spike cosplay, but it was like $30. That kind of defeats the purpose of thrifting. The point is to like save money. And especially if I'm using them to make a cosplay and I'm modifying them in some way, I mess up sometimes or sometimes things don't work the way I want them to. $2, I can eat $2. $30, I'm not gonna buy a $30 blazer just to like mess it up. I think the blazer I ended up getting was like $8, maybe $9. And I'm super, super happy with this one. I was looking for a blazer like this. I didn't think I was gonna find it. That number one didn't have a collar and number two didn't have any sort of closure, like buttons or anything. This one is perfect. The reason I didn't want a collar or buttons is because the collar is gonna be made out of the lighter blue shirt that I bought and it doesn't have a button closure. It has a different kind of closure. So this was perfect. Found a pair of pants that matched it really well. They're too long, so they have to be hemmed. Also found a yellow shirt to go underneath. So we are in business for the Spike cosplay. We've got everything we need for that. Oh, except for a skinny black tie. Weirdly couldn't find that. That's probably something I can get really cheap on Amazon if I need to, but I'm gonna keep my eyes open until then, see if we can find anything. Then I bought this velvet shirt. I decided to go off book a little bit for the Misa cosplay. So in addition to the pleather skirt that we bought, we're gonna use this for the Misa cosplay. This is gonna be the top half, that's gonna be the bottom half. It's gonna make a dress. Both items need to be hemmed and modified and we're still gonna be able to do the corset top for this. So it's gonna work. It's just gonna be my own take on it. But I think that'll be really fun to have a little bit of lace, a little bit of pleather, a little bit of velvet all in one clothing item. And it's gonna be a very fun dress to make. We're in good shape for the Misa cosplay. And then the last thing I bought was this red dress which we are going to use for the Katara Fire Nation 
cosplay that I decided in the 11th hour that I was going to buy materials for that as well. So yeah, for pretty much every cosplay except for the Link cosplay, we are in good shape to get started working on those, which is really good. There are still a few items that I want to... So today I'm gonna hit up one more thrift store and I'm going to hit up Michael's. I said I was gonna go to Joann's. The thrift store I wanna go to is much closer to Michael's and it's not like I'm buying fabric or anything. I'm really just buying like thread and other materials that I can totally find at Michael's. So let's get thrifting and see if we can find any last minute items we need. Still looking for the Tifa shoes, the Kyrie shoes. There was a pair of red boots, like little booties at the last thrift store, but they were a size 10. I'm a size seven. I would do an eight and just like do thick socks, but a 10 is too big and they had a little heel on them. That is just a recipe for disaster. Rolling my ankle or something. Don't want to mess around with it. So yeah, still looking for the Tifa shoes, Kyrie shoes, skinny black tie. I'm looking for like a necklace for Misa with a big pendant on it. For the Link cosplay, I'm looking for a couple of brown belts. Yeah, um, that's pretty much all we're looking for. And then at Michael's, I just need to get some thread. So let's go shopping again. <laughs> We're at Michael's, time to get some thread, some ribbon, and some other things that I need. back home. Semi-successful trip. I, oh my gosh, I was so close to finding a pair of Tifa shoes. There was like a burgundy knockoff Doc Martens pair there. And like, even though her shoes are pure red, I thought these were really cute and something I could wear in my daily life as well as for the cosplay. They were a size six, so they didn't fit. Also found out that you actually can't return stuff at this store. So I had to eat $3 for that scarf. And I also have to eat $8 for that velvet shirt, but not really because that I can use for something else. I'll just have to figure out what, because I found the perfect top half of the Misa dress. I mean, this is like exactly what I was looking for. Well, I was looking for this in like dress form. So I still obviously have to construct the skirt, which we have the pleather skirt for, so it's fine. But yeah, this is perfect. So I'm just gonna keep that velvet shirt in my cosplay bin and I'll find something else for it. Also found a couple of leather belts. This is gonna help with the Link cosplay, which for that cosplay, tutorial, it's not going to be the entire outfit. I just want to make the shield that he uses. So I just wanted something simple for the cosplay. I've got a green dress. Now I've got a couple brown belts. So I really only have to make the shield. Anyway, we went to Michael's, which I didn't have a list of things, which I totally should have had a list with me. I hope I got it all. The one thing I needed was navy thread, so we got that. I needed more bobbins for my sewing machine. I needed red ribbon. This is gonna be for the Misa cosplay, for her hair ribbons. And I was also looking for a necklace for Misa. There were a lot of really cool pendants there, so I ended up buying this pendant. And I have some silver chain and clasps, so I'm gonna just make my own necklace for the Misa cosplay. Oh, I also needed white ribbon, but I'm like, 95% sure I have white ribbon. Gonna go check. Be right back. I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't have white ribbon. I have pink ribbon and I have black ribbon. Well, that stinks. Okay, so I did forget something that I needed. That's fine. I still feel like I'm in a really good place, especially for the Spike cosplay and the Yuffie cosplay. Honestly, the Misa cosplay too, in a very good place to start any of those at any point. So last thing I'm gonna do for this video, I am going to head into the living room and I'm going to put on the outfits and film all of the before footage that I'm going to use for each individual cosplay video. I figure I'll just do it now. It'll be easier to just bulk all of it right now, so let's do it.
Oh my God, this outfit I'm wearing right now makes me feel like a Boy Scout or something. It's so funny, but I'm seeing the vision. It's very cool putting these outfits on, filming the before footage, getting ready to make some cosplays. And thank you so much for coming along with me on this thrifting adventure. It was very successful. I've got a ton of ideas and I'm really curious to know your opinions, which cosplay you wanna see me do first. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications. And as I said, comment down below what cosplay you wanna see first and any other ideas you have for thrift flips I can go searching for. And thank you so much to my Platinum tier patrons, Lars Baker, Brett Moraski, and Dale. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. My name is Leah, and I'll see you soon. Peace out. I wasn't aware. Now I'm begging no more. Do it, get chumped, chinjore.